When I'm kissing you, my senses come alive Like the puzzle piece I've been trying to find I told you, we're, we're doing a video. This isn't a couple. Why didn't you tell me? This is so embarrassing! I a, told you that this is a video. Did we're doing a sit-down video? Yeah, did you just want to Oh, black? shit! Let's... Let's, this is the whole wrong setup then. Let's go to it. Yeah, so then I took off my shelf for the jackdaw, and he said that, uh, I look kind of hot. Oh, that's kind of unprofessional, but I guess that's nice to have a compliment. Yeah, it was, it was fine. My name is Jack Bob. And my name is Lucas. We're gonna ruin your day by telling you some <sighs> unpopular opinions. The best thing about people sending in these problematic Unpopular opinions is we can't get canceled because somebody <laughs> else sent it in. That was my plan all along. There's a bunch of them, so after you're done watching this, you're gonna have like 150 reasons to hate the world. Oh, yes. That'd be so funny, the worst ones we agree with. <laughs> like, actually, I agree. Since this video is really problematic and is gonna make everyone angry, I brought a candle down because candles are, are the Lord's way of enlightening us and bringing us to a higher place than we are. I will raise you up on eagle's wings. I know you guys can't see the candle, but just know it's there. Babies are ugly as the F word. Honestly, I have to agree with you. I don't think they're ugly, but I think all babies look the same. So when someone has a baby and they're like, oh my God, look at the photo. It's like, did you just Google baby stock photo? Cause that's what it looks like. <laughs> this one isn't an unpopular opinion. We can just all agree we're all horrible people and babies are ugly. Yeah, obviously if it's your own baby, it's gorgeous. But like when you just see random people's babies, you're like, I F word F in hate Billie Eilish. Oh! This person is really mad. Right now the Billie Eilish fans are watching and like anything we say that is even slightly bad, like <laughs> we're gonna, our lives will be over. I actually went to social media training before, <laughs> uh, before doing this because I'm not trying to be canceled. I have to say though, I like Billie Eilish. I think it's cool. She's a unique, creepy girl. I love it. I love the creepy girl aesthetic. I am um, like Lana Del Rey. I like Lord and she's in that category. Yes. But I can also, I am not gonna act like you're crazy. I guess I could understand why yeah. you think she's annoying. Sometimes these superstars get to a level where like they're just everywhere. You can't leave your house without Billie Eilish, people on the street, Billie Eilish everywhere, the yeah. grocery store, Billie Eilish. Like sometimes it gets overwhelming and you start to hate that person, but then you like them again. Even if I was the nicest person ever, People are still gonna hate me. That's how it goes. Do you think the person who sent that unpopular opinion was Bad Baby? Cause didn't Billie Eilish stop talking to Bad Baby? It might be Bad Baby. Tea. Why did I look? Look at that headline. That's all we're gonna say, <laughs> moving on. I don't like when people whisper in my ear. This one is not an unpopular opinion to me. When you're in a relationship, do people whisper in your ear a lot? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so, right? But like, there is this one thing, I remember growing up where like, people whisper into your ear and it like did this weird thing where it gave you tingles and it was like this fun thing you do. You know, like cracking the head on, cracking the egg on your head. <laughs> I go to a massage place where like some lady whispers into your ear and like, Makes your body tingle. I wouldn't like, it's kind of like ASMR. Yeah, it's like you hate it, but you love it. I absolutely hate it when I'm in class and one of my friends is trying to mouth something to me. I don't know how to read what you're mouthing. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. I, it just looks like you're doing this. America's rights should be taken away because y'all have to learn your lessons like children. <laughs> I mean, people, um, bungee jump off bridges, dumb as shit. Just that happens joking, that I wanna do right? that. No, it only happens in the US. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole group of people that think this. But please yeah. don't take my rights away. I like my rights. If you if this really is your opinion, run for president and then become a make this a communist country. I believe in you. But just make it just a communist. Know. Yeah, you can do it, but just don't put like let us be free, you know? You can say. It. I, I don't wanna say it. Jacob Cruikshank is hot. Did you send this in yourself? That is so <laughs> offensive that they're saying that's an unpopular opinion. Do you understand? Why did you bring that up to me? I didn't think about that like until the, now. That means that most people don't think you're hot because they're saying it's an unpopular opinion to say you're hot. One percent of the people watching this, they aren't watching it because they want to be like entertained or whatever. They're watching it because I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, most of my fans are because of my looks. <laughs> 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 I can do a backflip on the on a D. This one 
isn't really an opinion, it's just saying uh, what they can do. Yeah, like I am I am glad that I know they can do that, but it wasn't the assignment. Um, maybe it is unpopular, maybe a lot, I don't think a lot of people can do that. That's an unpopular talent. Congrats. <laughs> this is an attack on you, Lucas. Oh, thanks for including it. Lindsay Lohan isn't relevant anymore? Okay. Like um, maybe in your universe, boo. <laughs> I like Lindsay Lohan too, but I feel like Lucas is a super fan, so. <laughs> It just, what do you think? I feel like these days you can't really say someone isn't relevant because everyone has their little niche audience. I'm not kidding. I heard someone say their Kardashians aren't relevant anymore. It's like, boo, just because you haven't heard of them, they're still thriving. They have a hundred million followers like, on every people, platform. People have tried to claim their Kardashians aren't relevant. This one actually pisses me off now that I come to it because whenever I go on Twitter, someone tweets something and the first comment is, this person is irrelevant. It's like, boo, they're making the coin. Yeah, maybe they to you, relevant. bitch, but not to other people. I'm triggered. Oh, this one is another attack towards you. Okay. Friend three is the best. Okay, it was a musical. So I understand like if you're into singing, like friend three would have It was walked. a musical? Yeah, boo, you're a fake fan. It was Camp I Wanted Pee Pee, Yeah, right? the best day of school was the last day of school was the opening number. We said the loser song, something about we're the losers or something like that. So yeah, this person thinks Fred 3 is the best. Is that, I guess it's an unpopular opinion. Do most people think the first one's the best, I'm assuming. I don't have to ask the Fred fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Links below, you can pay $12.99, right? $12.99 the... a week, and you're part of the Fred fan club. And yeah. So, sometimes I just take money off your card too. <laughs> Jacob is hotter than Lucas. Again, they're saying that's an unpopular opinion. That's true. I, <laughs> for some reason when I was screenshotting these, I just viewed these as what people think. I, di I didn't <laughs> put in mind that I said unpopular opinions. Yeah, so this person's saying that most people think you're hotter, but there is, just like I said, 1% of people think I'm hotter than you. I feel like I'm Joe and you're Nick. We both have our people who are attracted to us. Oh and yeah. And then mom's Kevin. Yeah, like people, people like her, but. Yeah, she has her little niche audience too. People that chew with their mouth open could should get jail time. This, this is adding you. I know, when I saw this, I was like, you're, I was actually, this is what popped in my mind. You're dumb as fuck. <laughs> Didn't you get beat up by our sister once for eating with your mouth open? <laughs> Wait, that happened? Wait, did it? What are you trying to think? Like, when did this happen? I remember happen? there's somebody like, oh, yeah, like someone beat you up. <laughs> oh, I kind of remember that. So, um, so I still sometimes eat with my mouth open, but I used to be so annoying that I would eat cereal, milk in my mouth, being like, <laughs> and you would sing while doing it. <laughs> so annoying. Well, let me put it in perspective. If I'm eating at, for some reason, I'm eating at Mastro's Steakhouse, which isn't gonna happen for a while. I obviously would just be polite, like I'm not gonna do it, but if I'm eating Chick-fil-A with my friends, the people that are closest to me, I'm not gonna put on this persona. Yeah. The like, most annoying Yay. thing you can do is be eating food and doing this. It's like, uh, bitch, just be yourself. I've Why done are you so that insecure? Before on, yeah, I've done that before on YouTube, but in real life, like, I'm not gonna do that. It's just like, boo, just let it all hang out. Eating with your mouth open isn't that gross. I'm sorry. Yeah, it depends on the person. When people that I know do that, I don't really care, but if someone random on the street does it, it's like, yeah. you, get you out. get out. Toes are better than ass. Okay. So this one's a foot fetish portion. So that's, a, that's an official and a popular opinion. <laughs> Literally 2.5% of the population thinks this. There's more for you because most people aren't into that. So you get all the toes to yourself. It would be annoying to be this person because when you're on Tinder, you can't see people's toes, but most people flat their ass. Oh, they yeah. don't flat their toes. So I feel bad for this person. And it'd be awkward during the one night stand being like, toe banged me. Personally, I think mayonnaise is basically just chicken. Just think about the concept. What? Mayonnaise tastes so good though, and chicken on its own is so boring. I don't understand how mayonnaise and chicken correlate. Huh. Did you report her account? Yeah, I blocked her and I actually sent an email to the FBI. Okay, I'm gonna block her as well. <laughs> Getting fountain jinx at gas stations is trash. Shut up! I'm pissed. <laughs> this person's attacking me. I when I'm on a road trip, I'm not gonna go to some bougie Whole Foods. I'm just gonna go to the the come and go down this street. Fountain drinks are just better than any other type of soda. Like when you get a bottle, a plastic bottle of Diet Coke, it sucks. Also, I don't know if this is true, but are we saving the environment by getting fountain drinks? Oh, for sure. It's still They're paper, in a plastic cup though. But it's paper sometimes. Oh, it's true, sometimes. Yeah. I use a plastic straw, but. But like small. Yeah, you're saving the environment a little bit more maybe. This one's dumb. Ew. Fuck you. Titty milk is better than 2% milk. <laughs> this one I can't say anything about because the last time I had titty milk I was like five or four or three. You I haven't tried know. it recently? 
Oh, I have. Tried I actually it. have to put that back. I think I tried it like a year ago. Yeah, I tried it recently too. I'm not gonna tell you how, but we got ourselves on some titty milk. I. And it was very sugary. Like I actually wouldn't want that in my cereal because it's it's too sugary. If I drink it every day, I would like it. But since yeah, since I'm used to watery. drinking unsweetened milk, I don't. It's yeah. really like kind of chunky too, which mm. is cool, but. Uh, I mean, titty milk's obviously good for you. Why so. don't we drink human milk, though? When you actually get down to it, why are we drinking cow milk? When our species produces a milk that's for us. Like, why aren't we drinking that? I don't understand. Like, why don't they have girls who donate it to a factory and we drink that? Yeah, and you then, actually get down to it. And then also, I I think I've said this in a video. One time, um, someone said I forgot where I read it. But guys, if you suck a guy's nipples hard enough, milk can come out. Like, really? legit. Oh my, that's okay. your next video. You can hire someone on Craigslist. <laughs> you can look that up, but that's what I hold one. Smoothies with titty milk, cereal with yeah, titty I milk. Yeah, I honestly, mark my words, in 2050, that's gonna be a thing. Like, it's gonna be, that would be the new health craze, human milk. And they're like, wait, th this has like, this is made for humans. We should be utilizing this. Yeah, and the, and the thing about this is, is that only like people that are kind of bougie will be able to get it because mm. I picture it to be like $10 yeah, more like, like a, a, a Humans pint. making it. You can't put them in a factory like you do to cows. Yeah, and plus I, I think they have a limited amount. Like it does, it's not just endless. We should start this business. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be billionaires in a bit. I'm a lesbian, but gay porn is the best porn. I have heard that lesbians are into gay porn. You hold, I never heard this before. I saw it was in a movie. Yeah, I have nothing to say about it because I'm not a lesbian, but. I just thought it was interesting. It doesn't go the other way though. Like I don't think gay guys like lesbian porn. I wonder why that's a thing. I actually want to know. Maybe just watch it like as a comedy. Instead of watching a funny movie on Friday night, you turn that on and just laugh at it. Oh. Um, Ew. I'm joking. Because <laughs> they aren't attracted to either of the guys, right? Yeah. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't think, yeah. I like Dot. Um. I don't. I mean, it grows out of plants. I wish I wasn't on Earth, though. I wish there was a way there could be an Earth without dirt. Yeah, same with spiders, though. Like, yeah, if somehow, I know, like, I know they help the bees or something. I don't Do they know. really help enough, though, to keep them? Why don't we just end spiders? And then I also snake. I don't okay. know, snakes need snakes? to go, but they're kind of chic no. like when Britney Spears uses one. Oh. So like, keep a few around. Maybe 50 of them. Yeah. It's just funny because if someone thinks we're serious, it's like, kill all the animals. <laughs> Put them in zoos and kill them. This one is really just straight up mean. I can't stand Kristen Stewart's face. I haven't looked it up yet, so obviously I know what she looks like, but I'm just gonna get a refresher. I'm honestly for sure not gonna agree with this, but um, let's just look. I guess she is like very smug. I mean, your your opinion's valid to yourself. Like some like, sometimes you just there's a certain person. It's different for everyone. Where like they just their face annoys you for no reason. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this one's really funny. Being in pain is satisfying. Um, I think they're just talking about um sex or sex. But then again, like if I work out and the next day I'm sore, I like it. So when I'm on a run, um, weirdly like like even though you might. It's not painful, but like you can tell that you're walking and like that's, that's like fun. I don't know if they're talking about just like pain or like from working out or like, I like getting the shit beat out of me. Cause like, I, I don't relate to that. Yeah, I can't relate to that either. <laughs> but go on. <laughs> Straight sex is overrated from a bi sexual person. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh, really coming for the heteros. It's funny because like that type of sex creates baby, but babies, but it's overrated. Oh, so he's, they're bi, so they've experienced both and they're leaning more towards the gay ver side of things. Okay. So maybe like on the Kinsley scale, they're just a little more towards gay. No, this is, this, I, I don't even think this is an opinion, it's a fact at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just me. Jacob's hairline is normal. <laughs> Shut Saying up, Saying that bitch. that is an unpopular opinion. <laughs> that is so funny, because when I see us, I don't really see anything, but then sometimes every now and then we get a comment like, Oh, it's so sad. They're both balding. <laughs> I know. It's like I don't even. I don't feel like. Like I get it. We are every. A lot of guys are balding, but like I don't see it as much as I feel like other people do. This goes into one of the worst things to experience is something that you never notice, but <laughs> other people notice and they think is like weird or something. I hate when that. Happens. I know. I feel like we have body dysmorphia in reverse. We think our bodies look better than they actually are. Oh. But like other people see the reality. <laughs> Lucas posted this photo. I had a headband on. I honestly thought nothing of it. But then those comments saying, I'm, it looks like I'm balding and my hair goes bald on Baki Chio, which probably is true, but that's, it just, I I think I have a good, we have good minds around us because we just think we look so hot. And I yeah. do, and I am so hot. Shut up. Clacks are overrated. Like, why can't we just make up our own time in the day? 
That would suck for scheduling, though. <laughs> but then at the same time, like, it, I, sometimes I think it's annoying how everything's evolved around, it, it, like, it's basically a made-up time when you get down to it. It's it kind of annoying how, like, wake up at this, it would be kind of cool if there wasn't time. Yeah, but at the same time, like, nothing would get done. Like, you imagine being like, <laughs> can you please get this assignment done by this time? Like, you're hiring someone, and, like, they're yeah. like, okay, I'll get it done in three sunsets or whatever, and it's like, can we just have a time? Okay. You know what I mean? It'd be so funny. annoying. Saying, like, I'll get it done when the sun rises to the Or if you east. wanted to, like, meet someone somewhere, <laughs> like, you wouldn't, you'd be like, I guess when the sun's, like, at a 75 degree angle, but it's just, like, annoying. It'd be so annoying. Part of me is like, oh, that would be an amazing utopia, no time, but then it's like, I actually kind of like the organization of time. Yeah. Uh, but it would be cool if you created um, a resort where we could go to it for a week to see what it's like. Oh yeah! I want to experience it to see what it's like. Um, washing your hands after peeing is dumb. Obviously not during this pan pandemic, but in general sense. Okay. I this might just one, keep quiet for this one. I agree though. Like what? So I do wash my hands all the time. <laughs> I did wash my hands back then too, but sometimes I think it like washing... really depends. Maybe for boys it's different, but I think yeah, because I... like if you freshly took a shower, your body, your penis is clean, and then you pee an hour later, there's no pee on your hands. Then I think you're fine for it. But then like when it gets to later in the day, like maybe wash your hands, but. Yeah. I, I, I want to I want to just be like, oh, that's so gross, but like, unfortunately, I kind of relate. Yeah, because like, but is I so, is this, but like, if you go poop, you have to wash your hands. Oh, yeah. So honestly, I'm going to keep this in, but I don't know if what I'm saying is disgusting or not. But yeah, this person is right. Obviously, during this pandemic, always wash your hands like every second. Cancel culture is just a bunch of people without their own thoughts and opinions who just want to fit in. Some scenarios, this probably is true. Yeah, probably most, because it always feels like the people who get so offended by everything are just, they just want to get retweets. They don't even really care about, or they just want to end someone's career. Yeah, and, and, um, and like, what is it called? Like, mom mentality, or like, yeah. oh, it's like group think or whatever you call it. I feel like if you see, if you see like a hundred people saying something, even if you don't see it, you might see it. Yeah. Yeah, there's been so many times on the internet. And sort of just like disregarding your entire history. Like you have you aren't a perfect person either, but like in your little anonymous Twitter account, you just pretend like you've never done anything wrong. Yeah, because with these people that have followings, like they, you can actually look back at their past yeah. and stuff. People always say cancel culture is such a huge problem, but I guess in reality, I read a thing where like, it's just a small part of Twitter and most people don't even see it. Yeah, but then so somehow like, people it turns give, into a but big I feel like thing. people give it so much attention, but like it really isn't like that big of a deal. I just can't picture like being someone like James Charles being in such a big cancel thing because I feel like that actually would affect your mental health. Like you would just become like just depressed for like a month. Or people just nitpick everything they do. Yeah, that would just and it's like suck if for them. people like follow him and probably have his notifications on specifically just to like call him out if anything's a little bit awry or whatever. Yeah. Blue eyes are not as attractive as everyone thinks and they're low key scary AF. <laughs> when you do think about it, they are kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so mad I didn't have blue eyes. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't make you hot, but it makes you more interesting. I know. But then Lady Gaga released a song, Brown Eyes, and then I was like, oh, I like having brown oh, eyes now. And my brown eyes locked away. You aren't scary if you have blue eyes. You're still... Yeah, I think, honestly, we're all just jealous. So, like, we're going to try to pretend it's scary, you know? I absolutely hate movies. I'd rather just look up what happens than watch it. I like watching movies, but this one kind of... Kind of like I kind of get. I actually love watching movies. Like I love, because it's only a two hour commitment, but I, when people watch this full on TV series that are scripted in an hour and a half per episode, I'm like, just tell me what happens. Yeah, so I don't know if I, I, I don't understand that either. How people watch seven seasons of a scripted show and they get so involved in it. I, I know, but then it. people probably look at people who watch reality shows and think the same thing. Oh yeah, and think that it's dumb or something. Mm -hmm. I love Donald Trump. This has to be a joke <laughs> because they spelt love like that. This person is trying to troll. That's a troll. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny though. Like it's funny because maybe it's they do though. Who knows? <laughs> I guess Donald Trump supporters are allowed to spell it L-U-V. Showers should be optional. This and the Chamberlain? Well, just kidding. <laughs> Isn't that like a meme that she doesn't shower? Oh yeah. Like, Even though she does shower. I don't get it because I just thought it was funny, but then why did people create it into this I know, I thing? feel so bad for Emma because <laughs> that was such a whole entire YouTube thing. Remember when that used to be a thing, I don't shower, like Tana would say it, Shane, like yeah. all these YouTubers would be like, hygiene's dumb. <laughs> then everyone took it all out on Emma. <laughs> Do you remember back in the day when every YouTuber would say this? I don't have any friends. Oh yeah. That used to be the That church. transformed into I don't shower. Yeah. What's that new one? Oh, saying, uh, saying like, I'm lonely. 
Oh, oh yeah. I don't know, something like that. They are optional. You don't have to take yeah, a Yeah, literally no one's forcing you to shower, so live your life. Everyone is, ex aspires to be in a toxic toxic relationship. Um, Maybe for a little bit you'd want to, but I don't think you'd want to be in yeah. a long term. Like, I feel like when you're a teenager, you're kind of like, oh, maybe I should get a drug addict boyfriend who like doesn't love me and has other bitches and like, I don't know, just like, kind of just yeah, like, cause I'm trying to save him. Sounds like, glamorous in a yeah. way. And then also I could see some, some people thinking like, I kind of want to be cheated on once to see what it feels like. <laughs> I could see that happening too, so understandable. Timothy Chalamet isn't hot. There's a big group of people that think he's hot, but this person said he isn't hot. Um? Uh? I, I don't I feel like I, I don't have anything to say to be honest. Yeah, I don't have anything to say. Let's just move on. High school is not the best time of your life. Oh, for sure not. Hopefully not. This I don't one. want to believe there's any period of your life that's the best. Oh yeah, so I hate thinking this will be the best time of your life. Oh, the best time of your life oh, already yeah. passed or something. Cause because you can always make any time the best time Yeah, of your life. as long as you're alive, life is still going on and it's just gonna keep getting better if you have that mindset. Otherwise, if it's like, oh, my best years are behind me, it's like, then what? Why yeah. not just keep having the best life? Because you could put in your mind, once I reach the age 40, everything's gonna be boring, because I don't know. But you, when you're 40, you can have a blast too. Yeah, it's have a blast. A Literally age. 80 years old, living it up. Like maybe it's a different type of living it up because you aren't into like doing stuff you used to do, but it's just looking at fun. Yeah, just living it up in your own tones. Oh, this one's for you. Marvin Marvin was an excellent show. Is this a troll? There was like four other people that said this, but I didn't include them because I we only need one. But I mean, thank you. If you were if you were like a preteen while while Marvin Marvin was out, I could see you maybe would like it. If it got a season two, like people would still be watching it. Yeah, I feel like it was just like any other kid show, you know? Like it wasn't at like the iCarly level, but like maybe at the True Jackson VP level. It wasn't yeah. Hannah Montana, but maybe it was a little bit like Ant Farm ish. Oh, or like Jesse. <laughs> Oh, maybe I think Jesse is a little bit of a <laughs> like Marvin was like at the same level as like the Naked Brothers band. <laughs> I love it. I just, what, what? Okay, yeah, we get it. Dr. Phil scares me like he may look innocent, but I feel like he's hiding something. I hate these talk shows where it's like them judging someone the whole time. It's just like, bitch, what, what about your life? Let's expose something from your disgusting life. Yeah, this one, <laughs> I, I, uh, I agree with you and I understand this person. Maybe he isn't hiding something, but it just is confusing because he shits on all these other people. But then what why can't we shit on you for once? I know it's like I feel like if you have a talk show like that every one episode a season should be about something disgusting from your life He should do that next season because he should be like listen I'm always exposing all these people like making these teenagers look like idiots So like here's an episode of me two summers ago I cheated on my wife or I sent a nude to a 27 year old <laughs> Yeah, and just to come clean about it. <laughs> people who have foot fetishes are weird um, this this wasn't as a strong opinion to other foot fetish people. I mean, when you first hear about it, you might think. I feel it's like weird. that's a popular opinion, though, isn't it? Yeah, honestly, I think it is. If we're being honest. I mean, you know, you don't have to understand it, but if someone in, wants to give their foot to a foot fetish people and it's all consensual, let them do it. Obviously, we aren't saying. Oh, if people take pictures of your feet at the park, that's not weird. Like that would be weird, but but in, in any scenario, that would be weird. And oh yeah, it's like if you're, into, if you're into boobs, it's fine. But if you're taking pictures of people's boobs at Walmart, then that's weird. yeah, that's that's Wait, weird. Wait, is that a thing? People take photos of people's feet at the park? No, I've never heard that. But like, I'm just saying, like, obviously that's weird. It's so like, funny because I don't view feet as sexual. So like, if someone did sneak photos of my feet, I don't think I'd be that offended. This one said, I don't think the wage gap is real. I'm a girl. I just wanted to include this because I, I'm not gonna say anything about it because I <laughs> honestly don't have enough information about it. I don't really know But much Netflix about it. does have a documentary called Explained where they go into the wage gap and like explain it. So if like that it will give people more clarity. So tell us what you think in the comments. I'm curious about this one. You sent one, Lucas. Oh. People with Audi belly buttons are in failure and no one wants to admit it. Yeah. Okay, there's very few people with um, Audis. I know. Mine's an Audi so too. I think this might be me being jealous of people with Audi belly buttons. Can you only get an Audi belly button by being really skinny? Because I've kind of thought oh. that before. Yeah, you always see these skinny people with Audi belly buttons. I don't know if that's true, but I kind of have a theory about that. That was just purely out of jealousy. I love all Audis. This one's kind of a conspiracy. The coronavirus was started by TikTok to increase engagement. <laughs> it does make sense. Like, because more people are on TikTok, but I don't think it's true. I love conspiracies like that, where it's like they take something that's happening and say it's a conspiracy or something. No evidence, but like 
you could be like, oh, I guess that could be true. Yeah, because it makes sense. you could sense. also say, like, Netflix created the coronavirus because now their stocks are higher than ever. <laughs> when you get down to it, you could say that about a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah. I don't really Those are my it. favorite conspiracies, just pulled out of nothing. And kind of just basic. <laughs> yeah. Alcohol should be made illegal. Back in the day, it was, like, there was spakeasies and shit. I don't really agree because I, I feel no. like... I feel like it's the same as, like... Um, Saying weed should be illegal. No one cares unless you're pretty or dead. That is depressing. You could think like this, because maybe people do care more, they're more intrigued if you're pretty or dead, but honestly, I'm not pretty, and I bet all my family cares about me. Also, so. that's just like a bad mindset to have. I hate FaceTiming people because I'm always so awkward. Yeah, so same with calling on the phone. For some reason, it's so awkward to me. I, I like talking to people in real life way more. I think it's because like with a phone call, like you just don't know when it's gonna end. I, yeah. I understand why it's awkward. Like I can do it, but it's awkward. Miranda Cosgrove is actually a really good singer. I love all of her music. Yeah, I wish she would have kept making more music. I would think that her record label, she would owe them more albums. So like, I think we have Miranda Cosgrove music in the future. And every now and then she posts a cover on Instagram. Your voice is annoying. Most people, in actual life, don't think my voice is annoying. It's only people on YouTube, so. Yeah, I didn't know that, like, my voice as myself, some people find annoying. Our mommy, son it, not our sh sugar mama, our actual mommy. Oh my god. Ranch and ketchup should be called Vetcha. <gasps> this is a Crookshank delicacy. You mix Heinz ketchup with Hidden Valley Ranch. Did you know, but somebody stole our idea because they were listening and it's actually available. It is? I think they have, like, Maya Q. Bitch, give us the money. They have Maya Q. I think, I think they might have Vetcha. But I don't know if it's it's cow to that chap. It is good, but like now thinking about it kind of grosses me out. But like, I like it. With chicken strips, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Mom, I agree with you completely. Comment below your unpopular opinion. Be mad. Just joking, don't be mad, no point. Um, and those are the unpopular opinions. If you want us to do another one, Thanks for we sending might. them in. Yeah, thank you. And, goodbye, Z. Bye.